never paddled with my blade facing out before and you can't see it but the blade broke off on my first paddle out <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to episode one of Water Vlogged, the vlog where we explore all aspects of Mother Nature's water, whether it's rain, sleet, snow, oceans, rivers, hurricanes, blizzards. It doesn't matter if water's involved, we're there. Now this morning, it's August 17th, 2019, at approximately 5 a.m. It's one week before my 50th birthday. So I've been training to learn how to surf, and I'm thinking that my 50th birthday is the perfect day to start. Now I'd like to document this progression because I'm curious to see how much I can progress after my 50th birthday, whether it's surfing, snowboarding, skiing, etc. Focusing first on surfing. So I've been using the stand-up paddleboard as my main means of training along with a Carver skateboard. Not sponsored by Carver, but I love the, the board itself. We'll explore that in a future episode. Now I'm brand spanking new to both surfing and documenting. So this is not only a surf progression documentation, it's also going to be a documentation progression documentation. So as I progress with my documenting, that progression will also be documented. Now to document, I've been holding out for a GoPro that gets me excited. The Hero 6 and previous models, the Shakiness of the footage was just not something that I was interested in. I really didn't see the broad spectrum application of, of that footage. So, for my 50th birthday, I brought the Hero 7. <clears throat> I've already opened it up because this is what I'm filming on right now. The idea is for my first couple months to only use the GoPro. Um, I like the idea of the Hero 7's hyper smooth stabilization whatever marketing term they use for it I love that the look of that and I feel that I can use this to hone my skills with walking into a store and talking to a camera you know a DX a Canon DX Mark 7 which is this big you know, you're walking into the store you've got this you've got your <laughs> Rode microphone on there you know it's just I just don't see it for myself starting out so something like the gopro hero 7 is perfect for this not sponsored by gopro by any means if i was sponsored by gopro before episode one i'd be giving a shout out to myself not sponsored by anybody i know that starting with a gopro is going to tie my hands in lots of respects sound and i know that having a wide angle lens is going to limit me to lots of point of view type footage which really doesn't show um progression it maybe is just documenting you know that yeah you're on a wave but what are you doing on it um but this for this first couple days it's going to be you know did i stand up or didn't i if i choose to use this from the beach or from a stationary object near the beach uh, the footage is going to be so far away that even if i punch in with my footage that it's going to look like you know a bigfoot sighting is no way that it will be to tell that it's me uh, but I'm just documenting the progression of when I start and how far I can progress. Another reason for holding off is technology is changing so quickly that I kind of don't want to jump into you know, a certain brand, whether Sony or Canon, until I know exactly what I want. I also don't know, do I want full frame? Do I want you know, APS-CA? Do I want micro four thirds? Do I want a point and shoot? A point and shoot actually may be the best route for me. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what direction this is gonna this is gonna head. So I'm holding out. It's gonna tie my hands. I'm also gonna have lots of rookie mistakes to overcome. So, you know, it is what it is. And as I like to say, for a documentation progression, you have to document and you have to progress. So um, the fact that I'm starting out basically at the very beginning, at the very bottom, uh, gives me a wide range of progression potential. Um, if I was starting out with all the best stuff right now, you know, I could only progress a little bit. I'd like to say that I didn't have any doubts with this whole surfing progression. I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what's possible. I really know how difficult is it to become proficient. I don't know. Will I be able to progress at age 50 to 
tubarding to power surfing. One of my favorite surfers to watch, Martin Potter, Taylor Knox, Connor Clough, and kind of going through the, maybe the generations of my favorite power surfers. I mean, I'd love to say, yeah, I can do it no matter what um, and have that confidence, but I would be lying to myself and lying to, to this whole process. So I had to be honest with myself that I'm not positive that I have what it takes. Um, I'm sure there are some 50 year olds that could do it. I just don't know if I'm the person to be able to do that. So I guess the documentation progression is also going to uh, maybe document the progression of, of that as well. My um, doubt, confidence, fear of the unknown, whatever. Yeah, so the plan is for today. Here's the Hero 7 cage, mount, case, whatever it's called. GoPro Hero goes in here. And then I've got these with a paddle mount. So I'm going to put this on my paddle for my stand-up paddle board, and I'm going to dry run using this in the water so I can start to, to figure things out as far as, you know, this. How, what is the sound actually like? How does the wind affect it? When I come up from a wave, how long does it take for the water to drain out of the microphone? So it's just a dry run today, and I know we're excited to hit the road. Let's do it. All right, so it's my first time filming myself in a store. Here we go. All right, let's do it. It is. I won't put you in it if you don't want me in there. Are you recording yourself? I am. I'm trying to be less shy, but. Get our rifle mount. have to hire somebody. Mackie, where are you when I need you? Car 
offshore wind. Got a flag down there. I got a wide angle wind, so I'm not gonna see it, but it's a good shot of the Pierre, Randy. Cue the B-roll. Got some seagulls here. Use your imagination for the close-up slow motion of a seagull. Maybe a little less talking with the leash in my mouth would be a good call for the future. Some really action footage, you ready? Let's do this. So when you're heading out through the waves, it can be a little tricky. Ah, I just got bit by a crab. <laughs> All right, so there's a logistical issue with the way that I've placed the camera on the paddle. It's not gonna allow me to paddle out with the blade on the board like I like. I'll explain that later on when we get home. But the gist of it is, I either need to walk out backwards, which is I'm sure a faux pas in the surfing world, or I'm gonna have to put the paddle on the board backwards with the blade facing out. We'll try both, both aspects. All right, here we go. facing out before and you can't see it but the blade broke off on my first paddle out <laughs> Track down my blade and then paddle around. By hand, we'll turn like a surfer. And see if I can catch a wave in without my paddle. The irony is. All I did to get paddleboard is to progress to becoming a surfer. So I guess today is the day to do my first pop-up. I right, get this get this by another crab. Alright. Alright, so wait for a wave. See if we can ride to the beach with a broken paddle. Not ideal of course, but I want to see how this how versatile this board really is. A little cinema very small. All right, so the standard paddleboard has 129 liters of volume, which is a shitload compared to a surfboard. Foamy, you know, maybe around 80 liters. So, it's like even easier to catch a wave than a surfboard. Also, you know, if you're two hours away, what are you gonna do? You got a um, swell direction, tide, wind, timing work schedule, family schedule, etc. If you're gonna show up, you gotta kinda take what the ocean gives you. The forecast might say something good, of course you try to time it with a better thing, but you know, if it's flat, I'm paddling through the pier. If it's super rough, I'm making it through the break without my GoPro, with a paddle that works, and I'm gonna ride these swells. The other thing that's nice is if the waves are good, this board works great. It's a little too big, even without the GoPro to make it through big waves. You know, I do have trouble getting out sometimes. And if the waves are small, this thing's a dream, you know? It works great. And it's kind of like a high performance longboard with a shitload of volume. I'm gonna see if I can catch a wave. I don't wanna get in the surfer's way. I'm gonna have to do like some, in fact, I should maybe stop recording. All right, so quick update. Yeah, I turned the camera off because the battery is low. My fault for having a low battery. Catch a wave in, clouds are moving in. I did uh, try to catch one wave, lost the blade of the paddle, realized I didn't have the camera turned back on, so 
another rookie cinematography mistake. Lessons to be learned at every turn. I think I can technically count that as my first pop-up. I didn't go anywhere, but I was standing. I adjusted the mount on the paddle so that its horizon should be a little bit better. I can tell uh, by the way the camera. See if I can adjust it. Made it in, broken paddle, paddle went in the water. I like grab the paddle, stand up, flip it around, it's a little crazy on the footage. Alrighty, great first day on the water. Always a good day on the water, but this is a great first day with the GoPro. So, Lots of lessons learned, lots of rookie mistakes, lots of mistakes just in general. Too old to even you know, know better. Too old to know better, is that right? Too old to know better. Yeah, too old to know better. Um, we'll talk about that in just a moment. So the glaring problem for today was camera angle placement. Camera angle? No, not really, just camera placement. So basically, I... Um, had a certain look that I was looking for going for. So basically what I want to do is I want to be heading down the line on the wave, holding my paddle with my camera here so it shows me, the board, and the wave. So I feel that that's going to give the most information for what's going on. Problem is, when you hold the paddle going down the wave, 
this is how it looks with a bend here blade going down all right so i put the camera here so if i'm holding it i mean obviously it would be down there it's like that all right only a little further back that's great all right that works perfectly i've seen it in this position the problem i had was when i paddle out through the waves, you can't duck dive this particular board, especially with a paddle, right? So what you do is, if this was not here, you place the paddle on the board like this, and you lay with your chest right here. Your chest here prevents the, the paddle from going anywhere or from rotating. The angle of this bend puts the shaft into the air. That's great. I get into the water, and you can't flip it like this because I'm laying right here. You can't lay on it like this, right? Your body can't be here. So what I did was I spun it around. So that now, instead of my body being here, this is the front of the board. All right, flip it around. This is the front of the board. Front of the board goes right about here. And now, instead of me facing this way, okay, I'm facing this way. Just for logistics of being in this room. Um, it makes it easier, okay? So this is the front of the board. I'm laying over there. And it's working great, all right? It's filming me going out through the waves, so at least I'm getting some footage, right? Here I am. I'm a water vlogger, right? <laughs> water vlogger. It sounds ridiculous, but yeah, I'm a water vlogger. So that's where it's great. But as soon as I hit the wave, my body goes probably up, you know, up with the wave and then down. When I come down, and the board's right here, and there's this space, and I push here with my body, and crack. It cracks right here. You can see, boom, that's exactly where it broke. There's the curve. You can see the curve. Same curve. Boom. Snapped it. So I ended up leaving it like that, using it as a, who, who would have thought, a $150 selfie stick. Too old to know better. Sunscreen. I know better to, than to not wear sunscreen. So focused on camera placement is the battery working did i why did i you know i forgot my battery extra batteries um etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. i was so focused on filming that i didn't think i probably thought of sunscreen at one point in fact i think i did think about it and i was afraid that i would end up with sunscreen on my lens i do remember that rookie so we'll blame it on being a rookie cinematographer but uh ocean wise i'm too old to know better i gotta wear more sunscreen so, and uh, yeah, going on 50, right? So, you know, this is uh, the water vlog, but, you know, as they say, the whole world is not a stage. So in order to be in shape as an older athlete, you can't just be on the water. So there is a lot of dry land training that I do, skateboards, um, BOSU work. If you're not familiar with the BOSU, I'm going to go over that in future episodes. I do uh, a lot of actually kind of like boxing type training at a local boxing gym. I don't actually box, but uh, I find that that's one of the best things to keep my shoulders and upper body in a cardiovascular uh, shape. Boxing is all shoulders, biceps, triceps, shoulders, back. So it's perfect for, for stand-up paddle boarding and I think will translate really well to surfing. I'm going to go over the attributes of a stand-up paddleboard for a beginner surfer in a future episode. And also, shout out to my birthday coming up in one week. One week. It's actually so, right now, I'm not sure what time it is. It's evening. Let's say it's about 8 o'clock. I think it's close. 7.30, 8 o'clock. So in one week and four hours. All right. Today's Saturday. Saturday night? I don't know. But that's what calendars are for, right? So I've got a calendar here, digital calendar. This is how long I've been a surfer. Zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. But this is all going to change in seven days. So when the clock strikes midnight and I turn 50, I'm going to click this on. To record how long I've been a surfer because I'm going to be a surfer starting 
on that first minute. Even though I won't be surfing at that minute, I'll be a surfer mindset wise. So great day. Thanks for joining me. Excited to have Water Vlog episode one uh, complete. It will be published hopefully, what's this? Um, this is August 17th. I'm going to shoot for September 17th an old computer with no storage i've never edited i've never used any of those and i mean i'm brand spanking new on this i just bought a camera had it delivered and it hit the water so brand spanking new uh, i'm going to figure this out and give myself one month to get my first vlog up um, i'll continue to uh, film on my birthday and subsequent days until i catch up so i'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me on this first day episode journey i look forward to seeing you in the future it's an honor and a pleasure, and I will see you on the water. Thank you.